Hello everyone, this is Six Birds in a Trench Code. Welcome to a Planet Zoo DLC wish and speculation video. I have, first of all, a wish list with three items on it. These are the DLC packs I hope we will get. Also, I have the same one, two, three items ordered on my other list, which is a list of potential possibilities in order of perceived probability. In other words, I've ordered my three wishes according to how likely I think it is that we might be getting it. Before I get to numbers one, two, and three on any of the lists, I also have a number zero. Because there is one pack that has been speculated about an awful lot, and I've mentioned it myself in one of my videos, which may or may not be posted yet. And that is a nocturnal pack. I don't think we'll be getting a nocturnal pack. Why? Because not only would you need completely new programming to make the animals care about whether it's night or day, in order to make it possible for guests to view nocturnal animals in the daytime, you'd probably have to implement completely new lighting so that the guests can see the animals, but the animals can't see the light. And speaking of lighting, this is a hermetically sealed concrete box. And it is not dark inside. In order to have nocturnal animals make any kind of sense, they would have to change the entire lighting system. They would have to make walls actually block light. Right now we have shadows, but we don't have darkness unless it's actually night. You could build an entire zoo underground. I've done that, and it will not be dark. Now the absolute number one spot on my wish list, birds. I really want some birds in this game. In the opinion of me, and I think everyone who wants birds, this pack is so overdue. Look at the number of mammals, reptiles, even spiders, and compare that to the number of birds. And compare that to the number of flighted birds, which is zero. We have so many mammals. In fact, let me show you. There are seven species of birds in the game. And even though two of them are penguins, look at the variety. We got big birds, itty bitty birds, pink birds, mean birds, pretty birds. Yeah, you're also a pretty bird. In fact, all birds are pretty and we need more than just seven. Now, in comparison, we have nine reptiles. And even though they're individually awesome, you have to admit that they don't offer the same variety that birds do. I mean, if you look at two of their faces just real quick, would you be able to tell who's who? Contestant number one. Contestant number two. Who's the crocodile and who's the alligator? Meanwhile, you would never be in doubt as to who's the pelican. Even the two penguins look incredibly different. See? And if we expand our parameters and, and include the exhibit animals, we have 20 reptiles and still just seven birds. How many mammals do we have? ADH. Oh, and uh, by the way, there are eight amphibians. This is not okay. However, it is number three on the list of perceived probability. Because I do recognize that introducing flight would be a lot of work. Because obviously there is nothing in the game that even looks like flying. Nope. Not, nope, doesn't look like flying to me. Uh-uh. So because this pack is so overdue and because birds are so lacking in this game, I'm not even going to guess at individual species. Instead, I'd like to outline some groups of birds that I think need to be represented. What I think we need is some kind of parrot. This is a blue and gold macaw, which I think is a good bet. Another possibility would be a cockatoo or 
if the burp app should come out after number two on my lists, a rainbow lorikeet would be a good bet. Why, you think? Well, you shall find out if you stick around. We definitely need a bird of prey, some kind of hawk or eagle. And within the category birds of prey, I think owls deserve their own representative, as do vultures. I know people think they're ugly and gross, but seriously, look at the face. In fact, their lack of feathers on the head is to keep them clean while they clean up. Vultures are awesome, okay? Also, we need waterfowl. This is a mandarin duck. Could be a goose, could be a swan, could be any number of birds. I just think the group of waterfowl need to be represented. And of course, the most important of all birds, we have to have puffins, okay? And as you can see here, they can fly, so obviously they belong in this pack. They also belong because they represent a biome otherwise not represented. On top of that, we would need some exhibit birds. And they would probably have to do a new type of exhibit. As it stands right now, the exhibits have many, many different versions of interior, but they're all in a glass box. They could potentially do maybe an exhibit with a mesh net instead. That, I mean, that, that, that shouldn't take that much more programming, right? Right? Because we need finches or canaries or even another representative of the parrots, the lovebird. Look at that. That is so cute. We need birds, please. Moving on to number two on both of my lists is a petting zoo pack. Yes, this too would require a significant amount of programming. I recognize that. However, I do think that some of the things in the last free update could maybe potentially be a hint towards something like a petting zoo pack. What I'm talking about, of course, is the fact that they put in a lot more new guest interactions. They put in those education stands for the children. They put in taking group photographs. So I think that guest interactions might be something they want to add more of in the future. And what better way to do that than with a petting zoo pack? The animals, the animals, the stars of the show. We need a goat. Look at that. What is more quintessential petting zoo than a goat? Obviously, there are many, many breeds of goats. This would be some kind of domestic goat, maybe a small goat. We need chickens. Even if we're not getting a bird pack, they can definitely put in chickens if we get a petting zoo pack. Chickens can fly, but not as well as cranes, and we already have those. So they could definitely give us chickens, right? 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 Also pigs. Look at the face. We have, I'm going to say two and a half representatives. We need pigs. And then I have the Shetland pony listed on here because of course we need some kind of equine. On this one, I am going to go out on a, on a limb and put in a specific species or rather a specific breed because the Shetland Pony is tiny, it is fluffy, and it is perfect for petting. When it comes to cows, because of course we need a cow, I put in the Jersey cow. Again, it's a smaller breed. They're just super mellow cows, these little... Look at the face, again. I'm gonna say that many, many times, but seriously, look at the face. And then there is the star of the show, who doesn't love the alpaca. I know we have llamas, but llamas are not alpacas. That... That is a fluffy face. Speaking of face, we need bunnies. I want to boob the snoot. And in a petting zoo, potentially, you know, you, you could. So let's get rabbits. I'm still thinking of these guys, by the way, as, as a habitat animal. Because an exhibit animal, I think, has to be significantly smaller than a rabbit. And also, rabbits need a lot more space than most people think. Hamsters don't. You could have hamsters in an exhibit. Can you imagine an exhibit with these little tubes and, and, and spinny wheels and hamsters in them? I want that. Do you not want that? 
And as you can see, there is one spot left. I mean, two, because everything is on two lists, but the most likely thing in my mind is some kind of a habitat pack, like the Arctic pack or the wetlands pack. I think a woodlands pack would be absolutely amazing. Grasslands are represented already. And again, a lot of people have been speculating on the possibility of a forest pack of some kind. I call it woodlands, forest, arboreal, whatever. And that one I agree on. I do think that is very likely. And even though it's only number three on my list, it's on my list. And anything on that list will make me a very, very happy camper. So if we do get a woodlands pack, what animals do I think might be in it, you ask? Yeah, you do. And I'm going to answer it. We need the red fox. All right, that's it. End of story. No, not end of story. However, this is the quintessential fox. And we don't have it in the game. Okay? Fox and the Hound, Red Fox. Disney's Robin Hood, Red Fox. It's always the Red Fox. And the two we have right now, don't get me wrong, they are wonderful and fantastic. But they're kind of fringe foxes. Desert and Arctic? The Red Fox. The Red Fox is the OF, the original fox. And we don't have it. And we should. Yeah. Next up on my Woodlands wish list is the wild boar. Like I said, we need more pigs. And this guy would be an excellent representative. Look at the baby. Do you not want those babies? I want those babies. Also on the list is the red deer. Not so much because I desperately want another deer. I mean, the fallow deer is nice. But because I think it's quite likely that it would be included in a forest pack, simply because it's an easy addition. They already have the fallow deer rig, so you just make that a bit bigger, give it more impressive, majestic antlers. And it's actually an animal that, that you see, maybe not in traditional zoos, but in like wildlife parks. So I think it would be a great addition. After the red deer, we are moving on to some smaller animals, including a weasel. And it just says a weasel because there are so many different, it could be a stoat, it could be a mink, it could even be a wolverine, but there are no weasels in the game. And they may have a bad reputation calling a person a weasel is not exactly a compliment, but look at the face. Next up, we are leaving Europe now. All of the other animals on the list live in Europe, some live elsewhere also too. But the golden lion tamarind is distinctly a tropical animal. And speaking of distinctly, it is a very distinct looking monkey. And we don't have that many small monkeys, which is why I think this would be a great addition to the game. We need this guy. Bright, adorable, charming, everything you want in a monkey right there. Give me the tamarind. Next up on the list, we are now in Asia. This is the civet, which is a super weird cat, weasel, bear looking animal. It is neither. It lives in the trees. It's nocturnal. So, you know, kind of ties in with that, I guess. In fact, I think if we should get a nocturnal pack, the civet would also be a good bet for that one because it is just such a unique animal. And last but not least, a sloth. How many people have been asking for a sloth? If they do a woodland slash forest slash arboreal pack, there has to be a sloth in it. And since I said last but not least, let's get the least, at least, haha, -ha, in size. You would need an exhibit animal. And before revealing my wish, because the last one is a wish pick and not a likelihood pick, what I think is most likely is another lizard. Maybe a gecko or a chameleon, which would be cool. But let me just end this video by saying, look at the face. Thank you so much for watching, and please do let me know in the comments what you think we'll be getting. Also, what is your favorite animal? What is highest on your wish list, and why? 
I am six birds in a trench coat. Bye.